Yo guys, James Rainer Reviews here. Today, we're going to be comparing Streamlabs OBS to OBS. We're going to be talking about which one is better for beginner streamers and even experienced streamers if they should make the switch. Before the video starts, I'd like to mention that on this channel, I primarily stick to techie reviews and tutorials, tutorials on Wednesdays, and techie reviews on Saturdays. So if you guys are new here, consider subscribing. I'd also like to mention I stream on twitch.tv slash jadencoyer. Links down below in the video description below. If you have a question about anything I talk about in this specific video or any of my videos in the past, feel free to click the link down below. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Now, people will come into my stream and be like, yo, Jaden, what streaming program do you use? And I'll answer with Streamlabs of yes. And then they'll ask a follow-up question of, which one would you recommend for a beginner streamer or even experienced streamer? I'm looking to make a switch. So today we're going to be talking about Streamlabs OBS, OBS, and then we're going to be comparing both. So first off, Streamlabs OBS. Streamlabs OBS is probably the most basic, simple streaming program there is. It has your alert box, an event list, chat box. Everything is inside the program. So you don't have to bring anything from any outside source into the streaming program. It's super simple, easy to use, and it takes about five minutes to set up. Not only that, but it looks appealing. It's very colorful and everything is organized very well. Everything is easy to find. And when you're new to streaming, you don't want to have anything too complicated. You want to be able to just find everything you need with a click of a button. And Streamlabs OBS does that very well. They took everything that OBS did not do well and made it their own streaming program. I'm not saying OBS is bad. OBS does have some great advantages, which we will talk about in a little bit. But Streamlabs OBS does appeal best for beginner streamers. Next, let's talk about OBS. Now, OBS is the most OG streaming platform there is. Almost all top tier streamers use OBS. And if they're using Streamlabs OBS, that's probably because they're sponsored by them. OBS has just been the streaming platform that everybody uses. All pros use it. Why is that? There's got to be a reason why people still use that. It's because of all the cool things you can do with OBS. OBS allows for a lot more outside sources that you can bring in. Now, while OBS doesn't have things like an event list, chat box, and you have to import like your alert box, it still has the ability for plugins. And plugins can make any stream look so much more professional. I have a good friend by the name of Scarf Plays. He made a video on how he took the original position of his webcam and moved it into the center by one click of a button just using an OBS plugin. I'll link his video down below in the description if you want to check that out. But plugins can just make any stream go from boring to insanely cool. And that's one thing that Streamlabs OBS lacks and one thing that OBS just completely wins in. There's so many times where I want to add something cool to my stream and then I go, crap, I'm using Streamlabs OBS. I can't do that. When I first started streaming, I wanted the simplest thing. I didn't want anything confusing. I just wanted to be able to open it up and just start streaming. And as I've streamed for longer and I've got to learn more and more and more as I stream and as I get to know the software, I kind of wish I did go to OBS just because of all the cool things that I can do with it. Now, one thing that Streamlabs OBS does very well is if you are coming from OBS, you can click one button and it imports all your overlays and everything straight to Streamlabs OBS. So if you are converting from OBS to Streamlabs OBS, it's super, super easy. On the other hand, if I were to convert from Streamlabs OBS to OBS, I would have to do it all manually and that would take a very long time considering all the things I have like my audio setup, alerts, and everything like that. Now, which one is better for beginner streamers? I would definitely have to say Streamlabs OBS. It's just overall super simple to use. Everything's there for you. You don't have to install anything from other sources. It's just all there and simple to use. Both of these OBS and Streamlabs OBS are great streaming programs and you can't go wrong with either one. Now, the reason I use Streamlabs OBS is because I've used it at the start and I really don't wanna switch over if I were to go back, I wish I would have done OBS and learned OBS, but it's not a big problem. Now, the best software that I would recommend overall is OBS Live. OBS Live is a combination of OBS and then stream elements incorporating your event list and a chat box. So it kind of turns the benefits of Streamlabs OBS and the benefits of OBS into one. And that, in my opinion, is the best overall streaming program. You got the best of both worlds almost. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Maybe if you're a beginner streamer or you're an experienced streamer and you're looking to make a switch to a specific platform. If you did go on to enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe down below for more content like this. Always, thanks for watching guys. Come on.
Let's go, baby. Get him out of here. Woo! Let's get him out of here.